Hello and welcome. Good afternoon. Uh, it is Sunday, the 24th of September today. Um, and um, I bring you the results of the castor oil that I made from my Zanzibar castor seeds. If you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. If you are a returning visitor, welcome. And thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you like this video, please do not forget to press that like button. And if you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. Have you watched my two previous videos? If not, you may want to go back to watch them because this video is a third part uh, of a three part video. In the last two videos, just briefly, I gathered some seeds, castor seeds from my garden and uh, I found out I have two varieties of castor beans. Uh, one of the varieties is a Zanzibar, cast, um, Zanzibar variety and the other variety is a black Jamaican castor seeds variety. And I have made oil from both varieties using the same quantity of seeds. So I took 2.85 kilograms of each one and I decided to make oil and so that we can compare the oil content to see which one will give us a higher oil content. I think in another video we also uh, showed which variety has got more yield. Hmm. So I've got the result. In the last video, I brought the results of the black Jama the oil from the black Jamaican castor seeds. In the video today, I bring results of the re of the oil from the Zanzibar castor seeds. I am not quite sure what happened. The results did not come out as I expected. So I really don't know. Um, I will show you also other things um, that may have affected the oil content um, of the Zanzibar of the Zanzibar variety. So without further ado, let me show you or let me tell you how much oil I got from my 2.85 kilograms of the Zanzibar seeds. So we managed to just get two bottles of oil and each bottle is the same as last time is 100 mils. Uh, so I managed to get 200 mils of castor oil. from my 2.85 kilograms of the beans and there's also a little bit of leftover which I could not bottle as well um, which is about 15 mils if I'm not mistaken I'm usually quite good at measurements I think it's about 15 mils maybe just under 20 mils of the castor oil of the castor oil so I've made 215 mils of castor oil from 2.85 kilograms of the Zanzibar seeds. So from all the beans that I had, I managed to get 600 mils in total. So just notice the difference in the colors. So this oil is from, um, this oil here is from the Zanzibar variety and this oil here is from the black Jamaican castor seeds. There's just a difference to the color. Um, but yeah, it is very surprising that I only got half the oil content from the uh, Zanzibar varieties compared to the black Jamaican castor seeds variety. So right so based on those results we can say that the black jamaican castor seeds will give you more content that it will give you more oil content it will also give you more yield 
So if you're thinking of going into castor bean farming, I think it would be wiser to go with the black Jamaican castor seeds. However, I don't think it's fair to uh, conclude, to make, to, to make it as if this is the true value of the, uh, of the Zanzibar variety. I think we need to repeat this experiment over and over and over again and get consistent results for us to be able to say that there is definitely more content of oil in uh, black Jamaican castor seeds compared to uh, the Zanzibar varieties. But we have also seen that there is more yield to black Jamaican castor seeds than the Zanzibars. So it would appear as if it's more favorable to go with the black Jamaican castor seeds with farming, with oil production. We haven't tested making oil using a machine yet. So I think when we get a machine next time, we have to repeat this experiment and see uh, how much we get using a machine because a machine is more efficient uh, compared to the method that I used here. When I made oil for the first time, I first started uh, with the black Jamaican castor seeds. So maybe I was a bit more um, diligent and then I was getting a bit more tired when I made the last batch of oil with the with the with the Zanzibars. I'm not sure, but there's something interesting that I want you to see. I'm just going outside to show you. See you in a minute. Okay, so I'm here now just outside. I wanted to show you um, these leftovers. This is leftover from uh, the processing. It's a cake that can be used as fertilizer uh, when you are planting the seeds or you can just use it as fertilizer in your garden with anything else. There's also a sludge that has been left over here. This sludge is mainly from the Zanzibar and it is still full of oil. I couldn't extract this oil but I can see that there is a lot of oil in the sludge. I don't know what can be done about it to be able to extract all the oil but you can see there is oil still. I think that's where everything went wrong because the, I could not get the oil out and all this sludge which I've discarded is full of oil. Just watch my hand, how much oil, the oil there is. I just couldn't extract it. So there you go. Those are the results of the oil experiment. Uh, between the black Jamaican castor seeds and the Zanzibars. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Stay blessed and remain blessed. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.